Hey YouTubers, it's Dansky. In this video we're going to be taking a look at the bokeh effect in Photoshop. So that's kind of where you see the blurred backgrounds and it can look quite cool, okay? So I've got a photo here that I've sourced online. Hopefully you've got yours as well. And we're going to go up to Filter, down to Blur Gallery. Depending on your version of Photoshop, you may or may not have this, but I'm using Adobe Photoshop CC 2015. So you go down to the Blur Gallery, you go to Field Blur, and you'll see it blurs your image. And we can blur it a bit more using the slider up here. And then when you go down to Light Bokeh, we can drag this along, and this will enhance any lights in the image. So because this is a skyline, hopefully those lights in the background will, uh, you'll see they'll become kind of very circular and blurry and become a lot larger. Let's see, we can cre increase those up. Let's bring up the bokeh color as well, just to kind of enhance the color a bit more. And we can blur that a little bit more as well. And you can really go as extreme as you like with this. You can blur it to the point where you can't even recognize what it was anymore. Or you can do something like this. Bring the lightness up and you can adjust the light range as well to get the desired effect. So let's do that. Bring the color up a bit so it's not too intense. There we go. So something like that it may take a minute or two to, to render, depending on your computer. And once you've got something you're happy with, you can click OK. OK. So there's our before. This is our after. And then we can go and type some text on top. And with the blurred background, it stands out nicely. If you enjoyed that video, please like, comment and subscribe for more videos. And I'll see you next time.